Firefighters responded to a fire last night in Regina. It was caused by a power meter box that went up in flames, the sixth in Regina to do so. And hundreds more have been damaged by the scorching hot summer we've been having. For Regina, it was the driest July on record in more than a century. That's causing the ground to shift up to eight inches in some parts of southern Saskatchewan. Basically, the earth is being compacted. That's dragging the cables from the power meter boxes into the ground. The wiring doesn't have enough slack, so it gets pulled. It's the meters on the homes that were built in the 60s and 70s where copper wiring was used that are most at risk of fire. The copper continues to conduct power to the house even after the meter box tilts and the wire is exposed. That's when the fire starts. The Crown Utility didn't start inspecting meters in Regina until the first fire happened in mid-July. Now it's brought in extra contractors to help staff work around the clock on inspections and repairs. SAS Power has had to repair about 40% of the meters they've checked so far. Thousands of inspections still need to be done and it's too late for the rain to help. We are going to have to keep dealing with this. Uh, the damage is done in many cases. The, those wires are being pulled. Those meter boxes are tilted. Uh, so we will have to keep going. Rain may help here and there, but certainly the damage that is done needs to be uh, inspected right away. And that's why we need customers help. If your power service is overhead, you don't need to worry. But if your service is underground, give Sask Power a call if you notice your box is tilting, if there are frayed wires poking out from the bottom, or if there's a gap between your home and the ground. SAS Power says that putting water around your foundation won't help because it's your entire lawn that's pulling on the cable, and it could be risky if there's already damage that's been done to the box. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Regina.